for the 10th time if I can learn to speak English and get through this before the sun's gone. I'm gonna go over everything that's in here currently. Some of the stuff is always in here. Some of it is specifically for this trip that we're taking up to Yellowstone tomorrow morning. I'll start in the front, work my way back, try not to get distracted. Hygiene, lotion, deodorant, toothpaste, some cortisone, it's a notebook, pen, pencil, sunscreen. That is an extra battery because winter time kills batteries. This is my main day pack at the moment. It's got a bladder in the back. Just a Walmart bag, but it works pretty good. That's a rechargeable Coast flashlight. Newer one that they let, they let out. <laughs> Newer light that they let out, that they released. Chapstick. I've had this fixed blade for probably eight years now. CRKT Obaki. It's a really good poker. It is hanging to where I can reach up with my left or right hand and grab it and get it out. Most of what's in my bag is takes up most of the room is medical gear. Wound packing gauze, SWAT T tourniquet. Um flashlight. Blah, 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 blah. That side is some lighters, aspirin. Um Spare AAA batteries, knife sharpener. This tan bag rides in the bottom of this bag. And in this tan bag is this uh, soft tea tourniquet. It's a packet of quick clot in there. Gauze, whether for wound packing or wrapping a wound. Compression bandage, which is exactly what it sounds like. A bandage that you can put some compression on. Get it tight. Stop bleeding. The world's coolest scissors, which also has a glass breaker and a ring cutter and an oxygen wrench. Um, Leatherman Raptors. They fold. They go into the holster. There's a 25-year warranty on them. It's made with good steel. They won't get dull. And when they do get dull, you can send it to them and they'll sharpen them and send them back to you. Uh, seat belt cutter, strap cutter. I love these things. To me, there's not a cooler pair of scissors. This video is not about the scissors, though. Put them down, keep going. All right, all right. Um, and this is a packed Ziploc with everything from medications and bug repellent and more sunscreen, um, bleed stop spray, boo boo stuff more than anything. That's some chest seals. Chest seals is uh, to seal up a hole in your chest. If you're around guns, then you should have those around too. All that goes in this bag. This is my chest rig. Chest rig can be used for a million different things. Whether you're a runner, a hunter, um, whether you work with animals, you can use them for all kinds of different stuff. Anything you could think of. Some medical gear, com another compression bandage. Wound packing gauze. That is a cat tourniquet. In here is an Inforce APL weapon light, a balaclava, extra batteries, um, a really good headlamp, two Glock mags, four, the Glock, it's a Glock 23, the beater one, a Bale Fang radio. I add to this and take out. As I'm using it. If I'm using it for shooting guns, I put gun magazines in. If I'm using it for hiking, I put hiking stuff in it. This is going to be the main ways I'm carrying stuff around. While I'm walking, camping, hiking, whatever. Backseat is going to be for the dogs. That's a fire extinguisher in here. Is a 3-inch, 30-foot toe strap. In that door is a more knife. A couple pairs of boots. Um, a ODB reader for car computers. Whoa. Another pair of gloves. These are traction mats. Get stuck in the mud or the sand or the snow. Heavy duty jumper cables, tow ball, air compressor, folding shovel, oil and coolant couple ratchet straps
sorry for the camera work. I'm trying to do it all one-handed. Wasn't prepared. Some hand warmers, isobutane for this camp stove under here. It's a Sawyer Mini water filter, lantern, extra batteries, fire starters. There's all kind of cables and charging accessories along with some power banks in there. Emergency fishing kit, a couple lighters. Unorganized mess. Zip ties. Every kind of wipe you can imagine in here. Some emergency backpackers food. Some old folding stove. A bunch of other car fluids, brake fluids, ratchet straps, extension cords, bolt cutters, ropes, vinyl repair kit, shop towels, headlights, tail lights, gorilla tape, a voltometer, tire repair kit, micro cord, garbage bags, emergency orange flasher, WD 40. Paracord, more Gorilla Tape. This is a socket set. Every socket that this truck would use in this bag. This is a waterproof Sherpa fleece blanket. 45 degree Shadow Mountain sleeping bag. Found that at Target for 10 bucks. A pillow. Another really nice wool blanket. I forget what company makes this, but they're expensive. And this is a one of those negative 20 degree brownell sleeping bags. Some propane that I need to get packed away. The other, damn, you're just on a roll, aren't you, Frank? Other dog kennel, we're gonna take two. Camp toilet. In here is all the camping stuff. Mr. Stove. I have another backup little backpacker stove if I need it. You know, double nest hammock, dog tie outs, uh, air mattress. These hatchets are pretty sweet. Fisker's a hatchet, Atch hatchet, axe, a hatchet. Another semi-waterproof blanket, ground throw, whatever. Bear spray, torch. Mr. Buddy heater, that's what those propanes are for. Two tents, one of them's on its last leg. One of them is a two season tent and we're going in the fourth season, winter. So we'll see how that works. Extra rope, garbage bags, um, cook stuff, cast iron, stainless steel. I'm thinking I'm gonna bring that as a possibility, which is a, a awning thing that you, they have the top cover for it. Top cover ripped off in a windstorm. But I was thinking of just stretching a tarp, putting the air mattress in the bed and sleeping under that. It's gonna be raining and snowing. And uh, I don't know how bad it'll be, but I might do that. I think that's everything. Camp box, camp toilet dog kennels my favorite blankets good sleeping bag tire traction car tools other tools all car fluids pelican i ran that over earlier i didn't know it was under my wheel i'd been moving stuff around and i thought i ran a kid's foot over or something my wife told me it was that i wish it was a kid's foot instead of this case to be honest i'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it I'll probably finish packing one other tote. This one has clothing. Rain gear, rain pants, uh, mid layers, socks, a couple pairs of jeans, waterproof jackets. I'll probably fill that up with either Phoebe stuff or dog stuff. And then it's fitting everything in here like a puzzle. We're gonna have a fun time. Fun time and then tacos.